You've been preparing for your AWS certification for weeks, maybe even months. You've read tons of technical documents. You've watched hours upon hours of technical videos, and you've been doing so many quiz questions, your brain is about to burst. But you can do all of that and still mess up on your exam if you don't follow the tips that I'm about to cover in this particular video. My name's Greg Powell. I'm a 20 plus year tech career veteran. I run this YouTube channel to help teach you about AWS cloud and tech. And in this video, I'm going to discuss some tips that you can follow to make sure that all the preparation you've done for your AWS exam doesn't go out the window in the days leading up to your exam. The first tip is to stop doing any practice test a day or two before the exam. You have to remember, these AWS exams are mental marathons. Yes, I want you to do practice tests, but you gotta remember, the brain is also a muscle. So you need to wean off of doing all these AWS practice exams between one to two days before the exam because when you get on the exam, you're gonna need to be super sharp and you don't wanna go into the exam tired. Think about if you were gonna prepare for a run. I ran a half a marathon last year and you don't, if you are going to run a half a marathon, you don't want to run a half a marathon the week before you actually have to run a race. So you're going to taper off on those practice exams so you can go into your AWS exam with a fresh mind ready to rock. The second tip, and it seems like an obvious one, is get a good night's sleep. You cannot underestimate the power of getting a good night's sleep. Listen, I know you've probably done an exam cram and stayed up all night. Maybe you even passed the exam, but I wouldn't recommend not getting sleep as a long-term solution. You're gonna go in there with one eye open and one eye closed. Get a good night's sleep, go into the exam fresh, stop those practice exams, get into bed. The third tip, eat a nutritious breakfast. Now, listen close here because I don't want you to get this tip confused because you can mess this one up. Notice I said eat a nutritious breakfast. Don't go in and eat to an all-you-can-eat breakfast buffet. Okay, so you want to properly, after you've gotten that rest, fuel up with a nutritional breakfast so you can give your brain some power to think. Remember, your brain runs off of glucose, so if you go in there on an empty stomach, you're gonna run out of gas, especially on these professional level AWS exams. Now, as I said earlier, don't confuse a nutritional breakfast with going in there eating three pounds of food (laughs) because, you know, if you eat too much food, you're gonna have a different type of problem, if you know what I mean. You don't want to go into your exam with so much food in your system that your belly's about to bust or you've eaten so much food that you go in there sleepy. The other thing I would recommend for this, don't eat anything on exam day that you wouldn't normally eat. So if you normally have oatmeal and that agrees with you okay, stick to oatmeal. But if fried foods upset your stomach, then guess what? Stay far, far away from fried food the day of your exam. Tip four is hydrate, but don't overdo it. I have a fun story. I can remember I was in college back in the day and I was taking a coding class and I remember I had an exam. That particular exam was in the evening. I think it was around like 7 p.m. at night. And what was different about this was I ate dinner in the dining hall before I went into that class for the exam. And I don't know what I was thinking, but I don't know whether I was hungry or thirsty or what, but I ended up drinking like three, four glasses of uh, of a beverage. I don't even know what it was. And I went into that exam and about, I would say, halfway through the exam, (laughs) I had to pee like a race horse. So (laughs) I had to, Go up to the professor and say, hey, man, like, I need to go to the bathroom right now. 
And I ended up uh, getting me all out of focus, messing up my time, and uh, looking back on it, I don't think I did that well on that exam. And one of the reasons why it was because I drank way too much fluid, and that really knocked me off my game. That can also potentially knock you off your game. Imagine if you had studied, prepared, and you knew you were all set, and then you went in, you know, drinking three gallons of water, and then you had to go back and forth to the bathroom multiple times. That's just really gonna mess you up, big time. Tip number five, look, wear comfortable clothes. Now, comfortable clothes means different things to different people. Uh, it could be a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. Uh, it could be some sweatpants and a hoodie. You know what you feel is comfortable to you, so wear that. Uh, I don't think going in with a tuxedo or going in with a belt and suspenders and some tailored pants that are too tight would be ideal. But if you find that comfortable, be my guest. Comfortable clothes puts you in a situation where you're going to feel less stress, you're going to feel more in your element, and it's just going to make your life a ton easier. And I've got one more bonus tip for you, and it's a good one. On the way to the exam site, as you're driving in your car, I want you to play your most favorite, most empowering song that you can think of and put it on repeat. Listen to that song over and over and over again as you are driving to the exam site. Really feel the music, get those chill bumps on your arms, take in the words, take in the songs, and just become very powerful because that is the energy you're going to need to exert when it comes to taking those AWS exams. It's gonna put you in a really good headspace it's going to really boost your confidence and you're going to go in with a clear mind to be able to attack that AWS exam and hopefully get that pass. So if you follow those tips in combination with doing what you're supposed to do in preparation for your studying for your AWS exams, you are going to increase your chances of passing the AWS exams a lot. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. I create videos on AWS, cloud, and tech. And while you're here, take a look at these two videos right here. I think you'll like those as well.